Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Uh, sorry I haven't posted in a couple days, but I think that is just a healthier way to go about doing the channel is to give myself a break here and there. Um, I, I try to do videos daily if I can, but I also want to have times where I kind of give myself a break and a little bit of a breather. Um, I've been working on a bigger project lately um, that I'm excited it's going to come out. Uh, it'll be a more of a story adventure rather than the gameplays that I've been doing. And so if you guys are interested, uh, check that out. Um, it'll be called Lila's Origins when it does come out. So uh, just uh, look out for that. Uh, I'm so excited to, to put it out there too. I've been working really hard on it and uh, I think it's a really, really fun story. So uh, in any case, but uh, today I just wanted to do a couple of little gameplays um, because I ended up going into an area that I've kind of been before, this area right here. Um, and it's not that I haven't been here before, but I haven't like explored it, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of stuff here that I, I haven't really touched, kind of on purpose, because I knew anything that I go into, I've got to make a video. And so that right now I was like, oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and just make a video on this, since since I want to go through here anyway, and I need a video to post. So let's just go ahead and do it. I was just in the mood to make one. So um, we're going to do this video a little bit different than we've been doing. Um, rather than having commentary as I was playing, I didn't have my mic in, so I'm just going to do commentary over the top. <coughs> and uh, I, I feel like that's going to be a little bit easier for me. It was a little easier to edit. And I just wasn't in the mood to, to talk while I was playing. So, um, But yeah, so we're just going to do this uh, voiceover style, uh, this particular video. So forgive me for that. Yeah, sometimes it's... Uh, easier just to go ahead and add in the audio uh, as I'm editing uh, rather than while I'm playing. Um, you know, sometimes I'm just in the mood for that kind of thing. So, um, But yeah, today, uh, the reason I was going through this area was because I was looking for those right there, the Rhea Lucaria gauntlets. Um, not, not the gauntlets specifically, but just anything of the Rhea Lucaria armor set. Um, I, I didn't have a lot of those items, like the Cuckoo. Um, I had the one for the knight, but I didn't have the one for the soldiers, and so um, I was playing on my other character. I, I've got a sorcerer. I don't do any videos on her, um, but uh, yeah, she's she's the the account that I play when I'm not in the mood to to do any or to do any videos. I just want to play, you know, just for fun. Um, so I was playing on her account and I ended up coming across the standard soldier cuckoo armor, the, uh, what do you call it, surcoat I guess. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have that on Lila. And since Lila is my completionist account where I'm trying to have every single item that I possibly can, it's like, yeah, I gotta go back and get this. And so I tried to remember what area that I found it in and so now I'm basically just hunting uh, not not the dog. I hate I hate these friggin' dogs. <laughs> I'm hunting the soldier behind the dog. So first we must kill the dog. There we go. And uh, then we can get these guys. Uh, eat it. Yeah, that's right. Take my blade. Yeah, we are looking for their surcoats. Their boots, their helmets, anything that they drop. Uh, I want it all. I, I want it all. And... God, I, I passed up these chests knowing that I didn't want to do a video on this area until I was ready. And so like, I have all this stuff that I knew existed but just never looted. And it was not really that good a loot to begin with, which is too bad. Uh, oh my gosh. Alright, where do you go? Oh, he's still down there. Come here, dude. Ah! Oh my gosh, I hate this guy so much. This stupid little guy that shoots you from the top. May he burn in hell. And may you burn in hell too! This is a weird fight. It's like cliffside fighting. Okay, well, let's get some distance on this guy. Because he's actually kind of dangerous. So Let's just make sure we've got rooms to maneuver. I want a shield. Look at that shield. It's beautiful. See what I mean? Like all this like knight armor looks dope. Um, all the cuckoo stuff looks really pretty. I don't think I would really use it that much, but I I want to own it. You know, I want a set. I want the full set. You know, um, partially so that I can do things like compare stats and 
like have ideas for future builds and I do like to switch around my stuff with Lila a lot you know I like to use different types of weapons and whatnot uh, today I was in the mood for double strike sword and my shield um, I'm still kind of pre oh what is that that is friggin beautiful oh I love when enemies are grouped up like that and I have an area of effect attack I love it you guys stay right there let me deal with this horse dude for a second and we will kill you all at the same time. It's my favorite thing to do in a video game, and now I finally have the tools to do it in Elden Ring. Yeah, I swear before, like everything I had, like the 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 arc uh, sp spell that you have, um, or the in what do you call it, sorcery? You know the arc sorcery uh, that never worked really well for wiping out big groups of enemies all at once which always made me sad it's supposed to do that but it's not very good at doing that or at least i'm not good at using it for that all of my other area of effect attacks my club slamming like the gravitas that hits an area of effect like all that it never worked well the only thing that works well is this sneak up see make sure they can't see and unleash the power of millennia ha 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 Mal, how do you, how do the hell do you say her name properly Ma, Ma, Melania I don't know Ma, something Big M we'll call her Big M unleash the power of Big M Lila has formed an alliance with the ruler of the Caled Wilds which will all be explained in the story that's coming out soon you guys will see how that came to pass. That's what the story is about. It's a pretty cool little story. God, it's so satisfying killing everything at once. I love rot. It's a little too OP sometimes, but I love it. Hey. Hey, you. Come here. Come fight me. That's right. Wuss. <laughs> Yeah, I've been practicing um, fighting without target lock so that I can do little moves like that. Um, I'm getting a little bit better, although I do have a tendency to miss a lot. <laughs> but it's okay. It looks dope when you manage to pull it off, but it makes you look like an idiot like that. It makes you look like an idiot when you miss. <laughs> You're just like swinging wildly at the air. Oh. Hmm. What have we here? What have we here? Is it a new weapon? The Carrion Knight Sword. Yeah, I'm not actually surprised. I found this one on my other character's account. <laughs> Although I did legitimately forget what was in that box. Let me just go ahead and finish off these giants real quick. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh. It's nice though with like the giants um, because it makes it way faster to switch between their legs um, when you don't use the target lock with that. It's very very convenient. Okay, where are we heading now? You know, I'm in the mood to find an octopus, so I'm pretty sure I've done this in at least a couple of other videos, but I don't care. I like fighting the bigger monsters. The lobsters, the crabs, octopus, the giants. I like anything that's, like, bigger. It's, like, a, more of a fight than just the little underlings, you know what I mean? It's fun. Uh, no. Well, unless that happens... Ooh, the only thing I don't really like fighting are the bears, just because they're too fast, too aggressive. These guys are kind of fun, though. You, like, can chop their arms off. How dare you take down that tree? Gotta remove your carbon emissions. Phew! Gross. Take your arm for that. Wham! Alright. 
Okay, I managed to kill my octopus and we can continue on our adventure. Uh, okay. You guys want to fight? Let's do it then. You guys pick this fight. I want you guys to remember that. And, yeah, that's the single most annoying ability is that stupid little glint... This thing right there. A little glintstone bullshit. <laughs> and they time it, too. So, like, it controls your distance, so it either forces you to be too close or too far away. And I should be able to deal with this, but I'm a little bit rusty on my little special attack, as you can tell. So I keep messing it up over and over. Yeah, like, right where that stupid thing lands is right where I want to be to pull off my little technique. And he keeps throwing it! Stop it! <laughs> Stop throwing your little balls of bullshit. What those are called. Balls of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, those are the most annoying enemies. Although I kinda wanna fight here more often. Like uh like I'll sometimes I'll choose areas that I enjoy fighting and I'll just keep fighting over and over in those areas, just like to practice and get better and learn. And one thing that's good about this area is that it really forces you to have a good understanding of distance control. Um, because they're throwing those stupid little um, magic shard things that shoot at you. And you also have to have a good sense, like situational awareness of other little spells that are flying at you. So that's a good area to like practice and train in, kind of similar to what I do in the Altus Plateau. So I might have to keep coming back here and training. And I, I don't know why I always feel like I have to kill the giants. I don't. They're they're not like they're worth what like a thousand runes. That's like nothing. But I don't know. I I, I just like to kill them. I don't even hate them or anything. I, I just like to kill them. Is is that a slightly psychotic thing to say? Probably. Did I say it anyway? Yeah, totally. Die. <laughs> yes, kneel before me. Prepare for death. <laughs> no, don't get back up. No, don't even try to keep living. Living is not your destiny, my friend. Here. No! I mean... Yeah, I think when I was new at the game, these guys were still kind of a challenge. Uh, I don't think of them as a challenge anymore. Let's just kill these guys real quick. Yurt. And we are on back to the group. Alright, let's make shit die. By the power of Melania, or Melania, or whatever the fuck her name is. By the power of the Blade of Mikola. I'm so bad with the names in Elden Ring. Ronnie, Rana, Blyde. It's not even Blyde, it's like Blythe or Blight or I don't know. It's something weird, it's like some Irish name. Die. Feel the rot. God, I love that. It's so satisfying. And even if it doesn't kill them, it still kills them. I love it even kills the dogs. Let's just clean up the survivors and then we can go ahead and move on. Yeah. <laughs> this guy looks so nervous. Hey, where are you going? Come on, fight me. Dude, what are you doing? Don't pussy out. Let's go. Mmm, dokie. Give me your Serco. Yeah, this is the area. I, I want to keep coming back to this area because this is actually really good for like training. Because you have to be aware. The stupid wizard up above that keeps shooting with those stupid little bolts. That right there. Um, you have to be aware of it. You have to be aware of when it's coming in. And it, it does fuck with your timing, and I think the soldiers do it on purpose. Like, the soldiers are smart enough 
to time it. So they wait for that thing to be coming down and then that's when they come after you. Which is really good programming on Elden Ring's part. Uh, that's one of the reasons I love this game is just the attention to detail on every level, you know. Yeah, sorry I keep missing my stupid little combo, but I've been I, I was just kind of wanted to practice it, you know. And this is a good area to practice it cuz it's genuinely hard to pull the damn thing off with them doing that. See, he controls the distance, so like I can't pull the combo off from the distance that I need it to be because he throws that stupid little thing right there. I need to be in that spot to do it, damn it. Okay. No, don't you start that shit too. Uh, more and more little orbs. Little orbs of bullshit. <laughs> I tried to do the combo through the orbs. Yeah, that's not going to work. Ah. Yeah, and it messes with your timing too, because in that little tiny fraction of a second when you actually have the right timing to attack and then that thing comes from above and just boop bops you from behind god it's so annoying all right yeah take that give me your circuit where is it I'm pretty sure this was the area where it was. Oh yeah, and I also want um I want some of the stuff from these guys. Although that was on my other character, so. Alright, let's summon the power of the Caled Wilds. Let's go, Radon soldiers. At first I was gonna say that this was part of my new alliance, but actually that's not true at all. This is like the opposite of my alliance, if that makes sense. <laughs> You'll see in the story. Oh man. God, I love when they like send him flying back like that. <laughs> That's so cool. I should use these guys more often. They're actually pretty fun. Yeah, flamethrower. Burn that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you got your little bullshit spells, so do I. I've got my little bullshit Radon soldiers. Get him! That's right. These guys be the homies. Well fought, my friends. Well fought. Alright, you guys go take a breather. And I will deal with this bullshit. You! Ugh. That's right. Stay dead. <laughs> you can see all the people that hate him, too. <laughs> uh, oh, you again, huh? Alright. Come here. Let's go. Let's go! I want your shield. Give it to me. Hoping that thing drops his loot. I'm pretty sure it does, right? Because I want it. Give me your shield. That's right. I'm not afraid to fight you in close quarters. That's right. Oh man. Out of health flasks. That's okay. Okay, do. Oh, I actually have it already. When did I pick that up? Okay. Do I got these ones? Uh. Wait, is the Rhea Lucaria Greaves the same thing as what you'd get from the Cuckoo? I don't know, maybe. But I'm not seeing any other like Cuckoo items dropping, so I'm assuming that's the case. Um, I really want to take out this Evergall, but first let's go kill this dude. I'm trying to get a boss fight so I can end this video, so we'll go... Actually, we'll go with two boss fights. We'll do this dude, and then we'll jump in on the Evergall. And I know that I'm saying Evergall wrong. I get it. I know. I don't care. I'm saying it right, because the way that you say Evergall is the way that I say it. And that's that's the rule, okay? That That's how it be. Is it Ever Jail? No, it's Evergall. By, by my official decree. And if anybody disagrees like this guy this this spirit right here 
He disagrees. I can sense it. See? see uh, yeah, he disagrees. <laughs> Alright, well, point well taken, but... Jesus H. Christ, how much do you disagree about this? Look, it's Evergall, okay? Just submit to my uh, authority. Submit to the power of rot and Malatme. Oh, God, I got to figure out how to say her name properly. Is it with an A or an E? Is it Melania or Melania? It's Melania, right? It's got to be Melania. I'm pretty sure it's Melania. Why does it sound wrong? I don't know. I haven't actually fought her yet, so I haven't even got to that part. But I've seen like endless uh, Elden Ring videos <laughs> about Melania, so I. I know the legends, I just haven't experienced them for myself yet. I'll get there. There's no rush. I love living life at my own pace. That's how I do things. Yeah, and I didn't want to fight, uh, I didn't want to fight this guy in my full, my full power spike armor and all that. The way that I usually do this strat. This is not the way I generally do this strat. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to fight with uh, more of a light build, I guess. A light shield build with a double strike sword. That's how I wanted to do this fight. Just for fun. I'm getting a lot better at killing these spirit guys. And what do I get? For my mixed flax, my mixed flask, I am assuming. Cerulean crystal tear and ruptured crystal tear. Dope. Guess we'll play with those next time. Ooh, a new thing. Hello, hello, what's this? Um being invaded by Edgar the Revenger. Okay. Well, I'm not ready to fight you, my dude, but I guess I'll do it. Wait, do I even have flasks? I, I, dude, I just wanted the grace, man. I, I don't want to fight you. And actually, now that I think about it, weren't you the dude from the... the castle? M castle Morn? I don't know. Is it? Or is this like a completely random person? Like you find his daughter by the side of the road or something. I don't know. I mean, he is the Avenger. What? He thinks that I did it or something? Man, I didn't kill your daughter. Look, it wasn't me, okay? Look, chill. Hey, let's talk about this, okay? Look, I brought you the letter, I think. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Wait, did I? I don't know. I can't remember. I did on someone's account. I don't remember if, if Lila did or not, but... So you need to chill. Look, I know you're grieving. If you want to hit my shield, go ahead. Here, let me... Let me help. Let me help make things all better. Go to sleep, my child. God, I am so fucking psycho. Ooh, a Shabriri Grape. I needed that. I was actually wondering about that today. I was like, hmm, how the hell do you progress this damn quest? Well, apparently that's where it is. Shabriri Grape. We can go give it to What's-Her-Face. All right. Let's go. Cuckoo Evergall. Is it pronounced Everjail? No, it is not. It's pronounced Evergall. I know some people might find that galling and appalling, but I don't care. Weak! That's right, eat my rot. You got nothing. The only ever gall I found challenging was the Crucible Knight one. And I'm pretty sure the Crucible Knights die to my rot now. I'm kind of excited to go back and fight the double Crucible Knight one that I had to give up on that other video. Because I couldn't beat it. Pretty sure I can beat it now. 
just blow some rot in their face and then just play super defensive for a bit. Might work. Yeah, nice thing about the rod is you can kind of just sit back if you need to make some distance or raise your shield. You're good. The rod's doing its thing. If you want to speed it up, you can maybe try and get a hit in here and there, but you don't have to. You don't have to feel obligated to attack. Wham. Easy. Great blade Felax, or whatever the shit that's called. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. And let's go ahead and end right here. Alright. Peace on out.